Hi there, welcome to number one Geek in His Eyes Sans, and we're back with some more RimWorld Save Our Station. Uh, we are currently working on several different projects so far, uh, one of which has been a little bit of a point of contention. Uh, Commander Red has been very kind in pointing out a couple of things that may be able to help. Uh, number one being is that radiators also help cool down the room and he's made a few suggestions as to how we could possibly solve that problem uh, and I may end up going with suggestion two. Um, effectively what's happening is uh, is that this area is cooling down or, or is sending cooling stuff through but Apparently, uh, once they reach a certain maximum, they'll also heat up the room. Uh, as you can see, the room in here is apparently minus 42. Because there's no heating in here. But, that will change once these heat sinks go through. Now, I always thought that the thermal conduits were going to go through there. But apparently, the uh, as I said, the radiators will also lower the temperature of the room. Um... We are also working on this little point here because naturally I seem to have buggered up uh, cooling the room down anyway. So it's uh, this cooling unit here, ship vent, as you can see it's now venting the whole room. I'd kind of not put it in the right place. So, <sighs> such is life. But hopefully we'll get that done. Marie, what are you doing? You're consuming a simple meal. Need plastil. Right, so that's another issue that we've got. We've got to start looking for getting plastil. I suppose one way of doing that is to start maybe working on this big plan here. So let's deconstruct that. And I guess we could probably deconstruct that to let the air come through into here. And I see what's happening there. Yeah, they're cooling that down. Oh, I don't need to do that because these have got their own heat sinks in that room. So I can just ignore that. I can see what's happening here. Yeah. So that is effectively um, cooling the room down as well, allegedly. So now that I'm aware of the, the situation, I'm wondering actually. I'm wondering. Because I've, I've made quite a few here, and that's great and everything, but I suspect perhaps putting them in a more localised area would be a more sensible idea. See, my issue being is, is I don't know just how cool these bad boys can make the place. So I don't know if I'm going overkill on the radiators here. Or whether I ought to actually just put maybe four or five here. Let's just have a quick look at ship thermal conduit. So to be fair, these thermal conduits here, they are coming out through this area here. In fact, that's probably why these are permanently out. But to be fair, I haven't really tested it against any sort of serious system. So it might just be the fact that I'm gonna have to maybe wait for this part to get built and see how well the system does, which means we may end up having to deal with other ships. Now the problem being I will have to switch off my droids because if I remember correctly as soon as I move away from this screen everything's going to go horribly horribly wrong. Right I think we can now build this area here as well. And 
to deconstruct that. And hopefully we'll have everything put together nicely for our next... Uh, What I'll do is I will buy the shield generator. Where are you? Let's pop that there. And that should hopefully surround that area there, which is good. And should cover us nicely. kind of thinking I need to get rid of this area here and as good as this one is might be a question of me having to take this ship apart maybe the back end perhaps and just see if we can integrate this area in there but we still haven't gotten rid of most of all this. And that's 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 the major problem at the moment. We've got so much to do. Maybe I need to make a construction bot. Let me just have a look at my research on the bots. I do have a builder bot. So I could actually, should be able to build one. So let's do that now. Fabrication bench. Make robotic components. And then we want to make a robotic matrix simple let's do one there then we want to make a constructor builder base station so that requires two robotic components and two components and this requires robotic maintenance and 20 steel. So we should be okay there. Uh, Gray, you're our production person. So once you've finished sleeping and shagging and all that lot, we'll uh, get you off to do that. Anyway, as you can see, my introduction has once again gone really, really, really far. So uh, I'll leave it there and then we'll see about getting the builder done and see if we can get some of this stuff deconstructed. And so that we've got ourselves a nice slate to work with. Back in a bit. Okay, well we have a ship parts trader and inspired trading for four eyes. So let's get four eyes just to go up to here. And let's have a laugh, shall we? Let's see if uh, what we've got here for the ship parts trader. Not that we really need ship parts. But there might be something. Destroyed. Yep, about as useful as a chocolate teapot. Never mind. Gray's hopefully going to wake up at some point as well. Lazy cow, come on. Actually, why is four eyes? Maybe get four eyes to. Uh... Who's our best at fabricating stuff? Marie. The four eyes can is okay. What's she up to? And said though, Jet, what are you doing? Engineering. Oh, she's doing it. She's on the case. On the case, folks. Once you're done playing billiards, let's go back to that.
I think what I'll do is I'll just let J go through her little motions, and hopefully by the time we get there, we'll be able to pop a construction bots. Pull up. Yep. Loop. 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 No. Back in a bit. Okay. So it looks like we have our base station sorted. So let's pop the builder there. Is doing the job. Okay, we've let's have a look, see what he's up to. He's deconstructing the whole corner. Control corner. Okay. Rather, if it just <clears throat> kind of did its thing. Oh well, we'll let it uh, get on do its thing. Where are you? Build a bot three. What are you doing? No, not robots. All right, so he's taking the stuff and building elsewhere. Which I guess is a good thing. All right, so he's taking the plaster and putting it down there. Fine, we'll let that carry on. And hopefully that will um, certainly increase that. I might have to build some more uh, builder bot bots though. Just basically just trolley all the builder bots. The other thing is, is before I start worrying about being attacked and stuff oh, I can install them. That's good. Okay. We'll get back to you that once we... Oh, hello. Okay, so can I pop in some whole plating down here? Nope, okay. Just gotta wait for that part to be done and then we're all ready. Okay, so a couple of things uh, before we end this episode. Uh, we've managed to put in a couple more um, builder robots, which has made life a lot quicker. Uh, Synthreed uh, is our next thing. Uh, I'm just wondering if I ought to uh, craft a... Hmm. Is there anything from the main area that we want to have a look at? No. Autopsy. Let's try the basic autopsy. Okay, uh, I think that is probably going to be us today. I uh, just want to say thank you very much for watching. If you like what you like, press the like button. If you dislike what you dislike, press the dislike button. But please pop something down in the comment section to let me know how I can improve my content for you. If you like what you see, why not press that subscribe button. And if you super duper like it, why not press that bell icon so you get updated every time I upload new content to YouTube. All that remains for me to say is thanks for watching. I hope to see you soon. Just remember, just a one click for you guys. Massive for me. And... Uh, but obviously no pressure don't need to think that i'm being pushy because i'm british you know and i don't like being pushy but that's me thanks guys take care bye bye